In this video, we'll show you how to set up Surfshark on your Mac computer. Let's get started. To download the app, head over to surfshark.com slash download slash macOS. Then click here to begin the download. Once it is complete, open the installer file. A new window will open. Now simply drag the Surfshark icon to the Applications folder. After that, close the installer and open Surfshark from the launch pad. You may get a message stating that the app was downloaded from the internet. Just press open. Now enter your registered email and password. Then click login. Welcome to Surfshark. To begin, click the Quick Connect button on the bottom right. If you're connecting for the first time, you'll need to install the WireGuard extension. Click on Open System Preferences. Now click on the padlock located on the bottom left. Authenticate your action by using your password or touch ID. Then click on Allow over here. After that, you'll also have to add a VPN configuration so that Surfshark can secure your connection. To do that, click on Add VPN Configuration, and then click on Allow, and the app will connect you to the fastest server available. If your connection is successful, you should see the protected status. On the left side, you can access other Surfshark VPN locations. Currently, there's over 95 countries for you to connect to, so you'll definitely find the one that's best for you. You can also favorite a particular location by clicking on the star icon. That way, it'll appear at the top of the list, making it easier for you to find. At the top, you can also access static IP and multi-hop locations. Static IP servers allow you to always get the same IP address when you connect to the VPN. Multi-hop, on the other hand, will connect you via two different countries to increase your privacy and security. You can also access additional Surfshark VPN features by hovering your mouse on the left and going to Settings, then followed by VPN Settings. At the very top, you'll see the option to customize your Quick Connect button. You can make it so it connects you to the fastest server, nearest country, or a particular location. If you want Surfshark to automatically connect you to a VPN upon launching the app, toggle the Auto Connect feature. Next, let's move on to CleanWeb. It'll block ads, trackers, and malware when you're surfing online. The Kill Switch feature will disable your internet connection if your VPN connection suddenly drops. This way, none of your sensitive data will be exposed. In order to enable Kill Switch, toggle this switch and then press Continue. Now enter your password and press Install Helper. Kill Switch will now be enabled. Just below that, you can also customize your VPN protocol. Surfshark will automatically pick the best one for you based on your device and network. That being said, if you're having any connection issues, you can try changing your VPN protocol in this menu. Lastly, at the bottom of the settings, you'll find IP Rotator. This is a smart feature which is unique to Surfshark. When enabled, it'll rotate your VPN IP address, making you even harder to trace online. Next, let's navigate to the left side of the app and access Alert. This handy tool can monitor and alert if your email, credit card, or ID has been part of a breach database and notify you to take action. Before you use Alert, you must enable two-factor authentication on your Surfshark account. A video on how to enable it can be found in the description below. Once you have 2FA enabled on your account, click Go to Surfshark Alert. While on the Surfshark website, select Alert located on the left side and choose what you want to monitor – emails, credit cards, or IDs. Let's add our email for data breach monitoring. Select Monitor Emails and enter the email address you want to add to Alert. After that, head to your email inbox and look for a confirmation letter. Open it and click on Monitor This Email Address. Now, back on the Surfshark website, you'll see which websites were breached with that specific email. Remember to change your password as soon as possible if any breaches were found. Let's now see how you can use Surfshark Antivirus on your Mac. It's important to note that to use antivirus, you need macOS 10.15 Catalina or later. On the left side of the app, select Antivirus, and on the right, select Scan. Before you can do your first scan, you must enable two permissions to allow Surfshark to scan files. For the first one, click on Open System Preferences. Then, on the bottom left, click on the padlock icon and authenticate by using your Mac password or Touch ID. On the right, select Allow. For the second permission, click on the Open Privacy Preferences button. This will, again, open up a new window. Here, we need to click on the padlock and authenticate again. After that, on the right side, you'll see a list of items. 
Scroll down until you see Surfshark and check this box next to it. Once that's done, the app will begin the first scan. Later, you'll see a scan report and see if any viruses were found. Finally, let's check out Surfshark Search. Search is a powerful tool, which allows you to get purely organic search results online, free from ads and tracking. Using Search is simple. In this box, enter whatever you wish to look for. This will open a new browser tab with the results. You can also select which region you want your searches in. For example, you can change it so all results appear as if you were searching from Brazil or any other country. And with that being said, you now know everything about how to use Surfshark on your Mac. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe and click the like button. By the way, if you want to set up your other devices, then please check our full tutorial playlist.